KTLA, our sister station in Los Angeles, shared this video of a fire NATO that formed during the Palisades fire with the helicopter pilot remarking that it was several hundred feet high. Now, meteorologist Grant Skinner is in the mix now. Grant, this phenomenon is called by many names fire tornado, fire whirl by some, but you say it's not actually a tornado. Right, Akivia, while they may look similar to a tornado associated with a thunderstorm, there is a key difference between the two. Fire tornadoes or fire nados form due to two key factors. One factor is the combustion process that actually creates fire and releases large amounts of heat. This heat releases it re re released into the atmosphere causes an updraft. The second factor is strong turbulent winds. With the case of the Pal Palisades fire, the Santa Ana winds are likely to blame for that turbulent flow. With tornadoes that form due to thunderstorms, it's different. Instead of relying on heat from a fire, it's latent heat release from condensation or moisture, and that's used to create that strong vertical mo motion. You also have horizontal turbulent flow, just like you saw with the fire tornado. That creates a strong updraft, and that column stretches all the way to the base of a thunderstorm cloud. So that key difference is that the updraft within an actual tornado stretches all the way to a base of a thunderstorm cloud. Now, you can still have what's called a pyrocumulonimbus cloud, which is a thunderstorm that forms in part from the rising motion generated by a wildfire. And like normal cumulonimbus clouds, those cumulonimbus clouds, a pyrocumulonimbus, can create severe weather, like tornadoes. I want you to take a look at this video. You can actually see the fire stretching upward into the strong, rotating upward motion, that rotating column of air. Uh, you can see the fire stretching upwards. I want to kind of show you a diagram here of that upward motion stretching up into the top parts of this rotating column of air, the fire at the surface and that heat release creating that updraft. Now, these fire tornadoes can, can bring significant impacts, including the continued spread of uncontrolled wildfires. This is not something you want to see, especially with the devastation already felt in Los Angeles over the past week.